Hello guys, it is Clissa and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. So for today's video of Vlogmas, we are going to be wrapping my boyfriend's presents. It is, what day is it? It is Monday, the 21st, I believe. So Christmas is this week. I just got his last present in yesterday. It's not much, um, cause if you guys know me, you know that I am unemployed and do not have any money coming in right now. So we were buying each other Christmas presents with a budget. So this year we went small, but I still wanted to get him meaningful gifts, even though that it wasn't a big price range because that's something that you can do. And you know, I took the time to find something that I think he would really like and stuff that he needs like it's actually practical stuff that he does need so we are going to do like a chit chat wrap presents with me so first of all alan do not watch this video if it's before christmas i don't think he's going to but he knows like a general idea of what i'm getting but he doesn't know what it specifically looks like or like you know actual specifics of it so um i have my little helper here today this is coco coco's just gonna sit and watch and i'm probably gonna be putting gossip girl on in and out in the background but before we get into today's video do not forget to like and subscribe also leave me a comment down below saying hi or anything and let me know what you got for your significant other or someone in your life that you really care about like what you got them for christmas because i'm super interested to hear guys we are so close to hitting my goal of a thousand subscribers before the new year and i did toy with the idea of making it like a christmas present it might happen it could possibly happen i don't know I, when i checked this morning we were at 987 it's so close, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, but if not, we're shooting for the new year, so please help me reach my goal of hitting 1,000 subscribers this year. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Calissa Coleman. So let's get into it. All right, for starters, I'm gonna show you what I got him. So last year, I bought him the Savage, Savage, whatever, um, Dior Johnny Depp cologne. If you're wondering, you should get it. Yes, it smells so amazing. I've never smelled anything that good before but it is so expensive and um i didn't want to get the odu toilette version because it's not as strong so um i get the odu parfum which is even more expensive and i got him like the biggest bottle that they had that was like his christmas present last year that was it he's gone through the whole thing or maybe that was two years ago i think it was two years ago i honestly cannot remember but i got it for him for christmas either last year or two years ago either way he's out and you know i really like how it smells he really likes how it smells we both don't want to spend $100 on cologne, so that's not what we're doing. But before I got him the Dior cologne, I was getting him Vince Camuto. So this is Vince Camuto Eterno. It is a toilet version and um, it's 3.4 ounces. So it's just a little bottle. I've gotten him this in a gift set because this is like our, I think this is either our fourth or fifth Christmas together. So we've gotten each other a lot of gifts, but I remember I got him this as a gift set a few years ago and I got him the blue one because you know, cologne's a nice thing to give people. So I actually bought this off of eBay and it was $21 which is like, I don't know how it was that cheap. So I'm hoping this isn't like a scam and it's wrapped in plastic, so I don't want to open it, but we're going to wrap this. And then for those of you who don't know my boyfriend, Alan, he loves playing guitar. So this is actually coming in handy a lot because he just broke his guitar strap the other day. So bam, got him a guitar strap from Guitar Center. We're both super into Tool and I thought this kind of like reminded me of some of their like album cover art pretty trippy and weird. It's the Dunlop brand and it's like super, super strong. It says that it can hold up to a 200 pound face. So the guitar straps were honestly what was like the most expensive, but now that I have them in person, I'm like, wow, this is quality. So I know, you know, I'm getting the quality that I paid for. So I got him this one for his guitar because I think he's going to like this the most. And one thing that we really like to do together is play this video game called Rocksmith. And you basically have real guitar and bass and you hook it up and you play songs. It's like rock band, but with actual guitars. And so I play bass because I cannot play chords to save my life. So <laughs> this present's kind of for me, but not really because it's his bass. So I got him another strap and I thought this one was really neat. It's like a black light trippy looking one. Also from Dunlop, look how weird it is. It's got like fangs and 
some really creepy stuff on it, but I thought it was kind of cool. So I think he'll like this one, but not as much for his personal guitar. So it's probably gonna go on the bass that I play. So I got him two guitar, bass straps, whatever you wanna call it. These were $24 each, so that was pretty expensive. And then I just picked him up a pack of his favorite guitar picks. It's the, it's another Dunlop at 0.88 millimeters. I don't really know. He always is losing picks. So it was cheap, so I just got him a little pack of these. That is all I got him, not much, but I don't wanna all put it in one box because it's always fun to like open more than one thing. So I think I'm gonna do two and we're gonna do the clone on its own cause it's, you know, in a box. So we'll just wrap that. And then we're gonna put the guitar straps and the picks in its own box so we can have two things to open. Now, if you'll notice to the side of me, we have a very large assortment of wrapping paper to pick from. So half of it's not open yet cause we were trying to use up the old stuff that we got. I think I'm gonna use this for the clone. Just this little red and white striped metallic. This is cute. So we'll do the cologne first. I'm gonna turn the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Don't look at my feet. Okay, so I'm not very good at wrapping. <laughs> and the other day, me and my mom and my sister were wrapping presents. I'm just cutting right now. You'll see the actual wrapping, but tell me if you guys cut like a chunk out or if you use the entire strip because my mom and my sister use the entire strip, but I just cut a chunk out and they hate that, which I just discovered the other day. So let me know because I'm about to cut a chunk out of this. I'm just going to back up and you guys are just going to see me up close and gross. Okay, so the cologne is wrapped and I definitely think we're gonna put a bow on it. But the question is, do we do red, white, or silver? I don't know. So we can talk now that we have the present wrapped. How are you guys feeling this holiday? Are you like seeing your family or anything? Like, oh, it's a mini bow. That'll fit perfect, but it's kind of falling apart. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys are seeing your family members or not. We decided that it probably wasn't a good idea. And we're actually gonna do like a drive-by thing on Christmas Eve. We're gonna go like stop at everyone's houses and you know, maybe meet up in the front yard, just talk for a little bit and give them their Christmas present. Just so we can see everyone because that's something like that we always used to do was big family get togethers at every holiday. So it's been really weird like not doing any this year. I think I'm just gonna write his name on it instead of using like a little tab. I know everybody's probably like super missing their family this year. I, I know I am. Okay, first present done. I just wrote to Alan from Close Up. Okay, next question to answer or rhetorical if you don't feel like answering. What is the gift that you're like most looking forward to getting or like, you know, the thing that you wanted the most? I'm just curious. Like normally I have one specific gift that I'm like really excited to get, but like this year, I don't for some reason. There's nothing that I'm like in dire need of. So I'm just taping this box back together and we're gonna put his guitar strap and picks in there. And I can't find our packaging tape, so I'm just using this little tape. So hopefully it doesn't come apart. But I'm pretty sure that my parents are getting me a new phone this year. But I'm pretty sure that my parents are are getting me a new phone this year. It's usually something, you know, we talk about. And the last time I got a new phone, I think was four or five Christmases ago. Uh, obviously I'm not getting a brand new phone. I think we're getting XS Maxes. I don't even know what that means, but um, we're getting them used off of eBay because that's how we roll. It's a big Christmas present. So I think that's like the majority of what we're getting. We got, we asked for a few, you know, clothes. And when I say we, I'm talking about me and my sister. <laughs> no, okay. 
So here's our box. Next thing, Christmas traditions. Let me know if you have any. I don't think we really have any. What we do is we always have like a nice Christmas Eve like meal, whether that be with like family. It's usually just like immediate family and then the next day or the day after we'll do like a big thing with family. I think we're still gonna do that. We're just gonna have the boyfriends over and then I think that's just it is the boyfriends, but I don't know if Alan's gonna be there because he has Christmas with his family. Now both guitar straps in there. This box is way too big. <laughs> He's going to be confused. And then now we're going to throw the picks in there. Yeah, we usually just try and like a few years ago, we got some lobster tails from like Deerbergs or something. Just try and make it special, but like we never go out. We're such homebodies, we always stay at home. So let me know if you guys have any traditions, like do you go look at lights, do you go to church? Also, so there was this old tradition that, uh, one tradition that we did used to do when we were younger was we would open one present on Christmas Eve and it was normally like pajamas or something so we could wear them on Christmas day. So like, do you, did you guys do stuff like that? I don't know, let me know. I wish I could have found our like packaging tape, but. Okay, so now that this is taped up, we need to decide what wrapping paper. I don't know if I should like stick with a theme and do like both of his in this color or if I should do something different. All right, I think we're gonna do this checkered plaid. This is huge, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I think this would look nice with this sitting on top, right? And this is kind of boyish. pick a bow now. This is cute, I like this. Now we did silver on the last one. Ooh, I can hear the box like coming apart. I think a big, we have a really big silver one. That'd be two silvers. I think I want a big red one. Mm -hmm. I always struggle with getting these bows off. Right here, beautiful. Now we need to find my Sharpie marker. Coco, oh, found it. We'll just write to Alan again from Liz. All right guys, well, technically we're done with the main portion of this video, which was wrapping the presents and talking about them. So here's his two, cute, right? I think he'll like it. I hope he'll like them. I'm sure he will. Anyway, I think that is it for today's video. So thank you so much for joining me while I was wrapping presents for my boyfriend. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy, and you're gonna have an amazing Christmas, Christmas Eve, holiday, week, weekends with your families and your loved ones safely, of course, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh.